Our prayer tonight comes from Matthew 6, 22 through 23. Continuing our journey through the Sermon on the Mount, we stop for a moment on a scripture that I struggled with today. I'm still struggling with. I'm not sure how I feel about it or what I'm experiencing when I read it, um, but this is one of the passages from the Sermon on the Mount. The eye is the lamp of the body, so if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light is in you is darkness, how great is the darkness? So I invite you to close your eyes. And I invite you to just breathe in and release your breath. And I invite you to invite the light to come into your presence, to surround you and hold you. Jesus, this passage hits me in a tough place today. Does what we see when we look at the world matter? Does where we look matter? Does how we look matter? Our world is troubled. Tomorrow we stop and pause for Earth Day, a day to remind us of how we are on this tiny little ball in a small, small corner of the universe, a ball that we have used and abused. What do our eyes see when we look out? Do we see the disappearing glaciers and ice fields? Do we see the loss of animal life and plant life? We are losing so many species a day. We're destroying so many species. The coral reefs are entering the point at which they may, it may be impossible for them to come back. Do we see the forests that are being turned, torn down? The earth that is being torn and broken open for resources? Do we see the mounds of plastic that is filling our lakes and rivers and oceans, even our bodies? We have let the darkness take over. Show us the way back into the light where we cannot see, will not see, refuse to see. Shine your light. Our world is troubled, God. A little girl, a 15-year-old child, was killed by the police. We refuse to see her. We refuse to look beyond her blackness and see her. We make excuses and blame the victim, a child, a little girl, for her death. We are hurting. Our black brothers and sisters are hurting. They are crying out for justice. They are crying out for peace. They are crying out to be seen as human, as beloved children of God. We have let the darkness take over. Show us the way back into the light where we cannot see, will not see, refuse to see. Shine your light. Jesus, into this space bring your light. We left up to you our families and friends, our neighbors and town, our country and world. Shine your light on those who are ill. Shine your light on those who are grieving. Shine your light on those who are in need, who want some help. Shine your light on those who are fearful and lonely and lost. May they, thy light shine, may thy will be done, that the kingdom of love may draw a little bit closer. Amen.